everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my makeup use up goals for 2020. And if you hear that crazy music in the background, my kids are watching Dora the Explorer, like the movie, not the cartoon. So you may hear some, uh, hear some music out there. It's good Latin music, so I am not upset about it. All right, I have goals. I have a lot of goals, <laughs> a lot of goals. And um, I guess we should get into these. I am going to start with my beauty stuff first, and I will tell you that not all categories are represented just because not all of my categories are problem areas anymore. Um, I do feel like I'm starting to get a good amount of my categories under control, so I don't um, include those areas in here unless they are categories that have a lot of older products that I really want to focus on getting out. So. That being said, let's get into this. The first one is face wash. Um, I have a lot. I had gotten stuff for reviews over the years. I've been gifted a lot of stuff. Um, I don't think I've bought a face wash in like ages, well before my no-buy started. So that tells you how long. Um, I would like to get three of those used up. Um, I don't have many samples of anything left in my collection. I do have a few, but not not much and um, not a lot of deluxe sizes left. So I would like to get three full sized face washes done. That would be really nice. Moving on to the next one that is masks and I don't do sheet masks. So these are going to be like full size kind of masks like this, something that is not a one time use. Um, that's going to take a little bit of time. So um, I would like to get four of those done for this year. Scrolling over face and eye serums, I have them in a category together because I kind of use them interchangeably. I know some people are saying, would say that you, you got to use your eye stuff on your eyes and your face stuff on your face. Um, this girl, I, I, I want to take care of my skin, but I kind of feel like some of it is like a marketing thing. There might be some truth to like the skin and this, but there it's like, all connected so um, yeah I put them together I'm, I'm sure that somebody's gonna be offended by that but that's just the way that I do it because it's just easier and I I want to like just pare down everything so you know I just I just use them it's just what I do all right um, so that is for face or eye serums I want to use three of those for face and eye moisturizers, I also want to use three. And again, full size products, not um, samples. Scrolling over to the shower gels and soaps, you guys know this is a major, major problem area for me. I, I used to joke that I was like a toiletry collector. Um, perfumes, lotions, shower gels, anything like that anything that smelled really yummy. I just, I collected the heck out of it and I'm still working on it. So for soaps and shower gels, I am going to attempt to finish 15 and I will um, try to, again, to have full size on those. If I go above and beyond that 15, um, I can use like the smaller stuff because I do have some smaller um, handcrafted soaps, but now I want to get like the real stuff out. <clears throat> Lotions, I would like to get out 12. Again, I don't think I have anything small except for one that I keep in my purse. But other than that, um, and that one is, it's um, a Bath and Body Works and it's still probably like a four ounce lotion. It's just not one of like the big ones. So 12 of those. I have my perfumes and fragrances separated from my body sprays because body spray is a category that I'm working to eliminate from my collection. So for regular perfumes, which I also include my um, like fragrance oils, essential oils, that kind of stuff that um, I use to create my own fragrances, like I will use like a carrier oil and put them in. This is just a refillable roller ball and um, so I kind of make my own fragrances sometimes. And I also add essential oils to my lotions. You know, just, it's just what I do. Um, I like smell. So um, 10, 10 of those for the perfumes, 
fragrance oils, essential oils, stuff like that. And for body sprays, oh, I got a visitor. I got Mommy, a little visitor. Is this washed? Nope, Mommy's got to wash that. Oh, yeah, it is. Nope, Mommy's got to wash it. I wrapped it. Okay, you got yogurt on your face. You're awful cute. <laughs> and yogurt on her dress. Yeah, I'll wash it for you. But it's already. <laughs> okay, well, go watch Dora. Mommy's going to finish her video. Love you. This is hot. Okay. She has an Elsa dress and she got yogurt on it and she wants it to be that quick washed. Doesn't work that way. She'll learn. She's only three. All right. Body sprays. Two. That's what I want to get out. I am slowly working on, like I said, eliminating that category. And hopefully by this time next year or by the end of next year, I would have all of those done. That would be nice. All right, makeup time. Um, Cause makeup is, makeup's the best. It really is. Um, let's see. Starting with powder foundation. I'm not putting in liquid foundations. It is not a problem category for me. Um, I just replaced my liquid foundations. I wanna say in November. So that is definitely not a problem category for me. It's a green category. But powder foundations, I have a problem there, and I have some stuff that is on the older side, so I want to get some of that used up. Um, all right, so three, three powder foundations. I do have um, some Bare Minerals, and I have some Elf Mineral Foundations, so I would like to get three of those done. And face powders. Um, I, this is one that's not like a super big problem, but I still have more than I should. I would like to get four of those done. And it doesn't matter to me if it is a pressed powder or a loose powder, mineral veil, correcting powder, anything like that. Um, I just want to get four of them used up. All right, my crazy category. Well, not my craziest, but it is a crazy category. For highlighter, I would like to get two of those done this year. And um, hopefully, hopefully that can happen. I think it, it's probably a pretty realistic goal for me for two and um, I really think I can do it this year. For blushes, I know you guys are going to think I'm nuts, but I'll explain in a minute. I probably should have pulled them out before I started. I would like to finish eight blushes for this year. And this is one of the categories where um, it probably sounds crazy, and to most people it probably would be. But, but, wait for it. Um, Y'all know I franken the heck out of everything. And I had... This blush right here was Franken last year with five different blushes in it. So this one blush right here is actually five blushes. So that is five of the eight once this is done. And I have two blushes in this one that I frankened so that I had a cool toned blush. So if I finish these two, that is seven blushes. And um, blushes are one of those categories where I have a lot of them, but they are on the smaller side. I mean, I do have some bigger ones, but um, the majority of mine are like the smaller ones from like Bare Minerals. And um, I have some sample ones, even though samples still can last a while, or deluxe sizes, whatever you want to call them. Um, they're not like big, humongo kind of pans. So I don't think that the eight is unrealistic considering that there are seven pressed into these two pans right here. And you know, they're not full pans. So we shall see how it works out, but my goal is going to be eight. Crazy as that sounds. All right, moving on to eyeliner. Um, I have a goal set at six. And the reason I do is because I have over 30 eyeliners in my collection and I just need to get some out. I have liquid liners, I have pencil liners, I have the twist up, the sharpen, um, I have potted gel liners, you name it. If it's an eyeliner, I have it. I got it five or six new ones for Christmas, which I absolutely adore. Um, those were all colorful, except for that black one that someone snuck into my package. Um, but yeah, it's a problem category for me. 
and I, I kind of want to get to the place with this category where I can buy colorful eyeliners and not feel bad because I have 60 million of them in my collection. So six eyeliners, that is going to be a good start. And I, honestly, I hope I can do more than that, but um, I'm going to set my goal at six right now. I'm probably going to reevaluate all of this stuff at like the six month mark. So halfway and um, see if it if it's realistic, if I need to add any more on. I'm going to skip over eyeshadow because, um, yeah, that's crazy. No, I'm not. I'm not skipping eyeshadow. You know I'm not. I'm teasing. Um, I am crazy, though. This is probably the biggest crazy category. Um, after doing the 70 eyeshadow challenge with Amanda last year, I kind of threw down the gauntlet this year and said, let's make it 100. She accepted said challenge. So, yeah, I'm going to attempt to do 100 eyeshadows this year. This is probably my biggest offender for categories. I have so many eyeshadows. Um, next time I do my inventory, I'm actually going to count the pans because that was requested. And I've been thinking about doing that anyway. So, it's coming. It will. Um, but 100 eyeshadows. And I have not finished any as of this moment when I'm filming. I'm close on one or two or five or something. I don't remember. But as of this moment, I have not finished any. So, you know, 100. That, that's kind of crazy. Um, lipstick. I'm not going as crazy as I did last year because um, some of my other categories that are worse offenders have suffered. So I am only going to go for six lipsticks this year. I think I can do it. I think I can. I hope I can. Um, lip gloss. This is the category that suffered the most, and this is the one that I have the most of as far as any lip products. I'm hopefully going to be able to finish 12 lip glosses this year. I have most of them already like in the back of my head which ones I want to work on, and um, you're going to see a lot of buxom. A lot of buxom. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully I can do 12. If I can do more, even better, but 12 is what my goal is currently. Lip pencils, um, not a huge problem category, but I do have a lot of lip pencils that are getting on the older side and I wanna just get some of those used up, which is why I put them in this makeup use up. I would like to get four of them done this year. I think I can do that one. Um, moving on to lip balms, I am a lip balm addict and um, I, I keep getting gifted lip balms, which I'm not mad about. Here comes my princess again. Hi, crazy girl. I want something to hold. You want something to hold? Mm -hmm. Well, um, I don't know what to give you. Do you want this? I want to hold something. She wants to hold some of my makeup. She's going to take over this channel at some point. How about you let mommy finish and then I'll, I'll give you something to hold. I want something on my arm. Oh, you want something on your arm? I want different colors on my arm. Well, go get the hair ties. You know where the hair ties are? No, these colors. No, not, not glass, not nail polish. No. No, no. Love you. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. Child interrupt us. So lip balms. Major addict as far as lip balms are concerned. I do keep getting them gifted to me. Um, I would like to use up six this year. I know I have at least two in projects. Maybe, maybe more. Maybe four in projects. I don't even remember anymore. But crossing my fingers that I can get six done. What about these? Okay, put them on your arm. Yeah, I can't. Okay, well, I'll, I'll help you when I'm done. Always. When I want to do her hair, she won't let me. When I'm filming, she wants me to do her hair. All right. You want me to hold on to these till I'm done? Why don't you go wash your face? You got yogurt all over your face. No. No, you want to be a yogurt face? I want to see. Okay. I'm going to finish. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Um, last thing is nail polish. Um, I tried so hard to get 12 last year, and I did not make it. I know, I know, only 11 last year. I'm gonna try harder this year and see if I can't get that 12th one. 
crossing my fingers that would be nice i have a lot of nail polish a lot um and i keep getting requests from people to see my nail polish collection i'm not at that point yet with showing off my collection but I'm feeling a little bit better about it this year. There is a possibility I might do it later in the year. Just not there yet. But um, I feel like I'm getting a little bit closer to that point. So it may be coming. But nail polish. I would like to get 12 of those used up this year. Wish me luck because I'm going to need it. Because I picked some brand new nail polishes to work on. Which was probably not the smartest thing to do. Mommy, I need to go potty. What you going to do? The kids got to go potty. <laughs> you guys are getting all the real life stuff here. This is what happens when I film during the day because I want to start sleeping at night. It is what it is. All right. I'm going to wrap this up. Let me know what um, you guys want to get used up this year. Um, and if you are interested in doing the makeup use up, um, I highly recommend the Facebook group. I am going to put that down below if anyone is interested in joining it. I don't run it. I, I don't even admin, moderate, or anything with it. I am just, you know, a member of the group. I really appreciate it. Um, a lot of amazing women in that group, and they're very supportive. So that's why I want to, you know, let you guys know about it if you didn't already know about it. So I'm going to link that down below and um, figure out what you guys want to use up this year because I find if you have goals you're more likely to, you know, reach what you want if you actually set a specific goal for yourself. So set your goals and achieve them. All right. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.